Okay, Jay, welcome back to the to the yin, to the yin and yang to the yin and yang. Who's the <laughs> exactly? I'm the yin. And you're the yang. Got it. Gotta get it right. All right, right. Yeah, Welcome back yeah, to the Yin yeah. and Yang show. Um, we had we had been hiatusing for a minute, and I wanted us to do like yes. take a, a a quick turn and do something different, and just like share the conversations where I feel like I have aha moments um, on just basic yeah. things that we talk about. Sure. So we were talking sure. about timing, and I was just like, yo. I got uh, finally got tenants in my apartment, so I was just like, "Hey, congrats, congrats!" Thank you, thank you, thank you. And like, there were so many changes in my life, having moved back home and saving so much money, and the work changes, and just trying to manage my time with school, work, YouTube, life. And you were just like, "Yeah, but that's all good, but you know, timing." And I was just like, "What you talking about?" I was ready, I, I, you know, you always feel like you're ready for more and bigger things and you can handle that responsibility. But I spoke to you, I spoke to my mom and she said the same thing. And I was like, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us, what did you mean by timing? What is this timing you speak of? Well, I believe that in, when it comes to things in life, Timing is probably the most important thing. Um, it's more important than ideas. It's more important than money. It's more important than anything because it's, it's about the right time for things to happen. Um, is it more important than hard work, consistency, discipline, waking up at 4 a.m., meditating, <laughs> journaling, <laughs> exercising, eating right, you know? Is it as is it less like tell me? I think it does. I think it is more important than all those things because it's it's all about where you are in life. Uh -huh. Um, something like like we just said is like uh, you said eating right, right? Well, it depends on the person and where they are at that time in their journey. In so, their journey in life, it's, yeah, it's, it's where you are. You know, see, I didn't say that those things aren't. Important. For sure. I'm not saying those things don't play a role. Of course. What I am saying is timing is the most important thing. Yeah. When it comes to success in whatever that realm may be, mm -hmm. whether whether it's business ideas, whether it's the idea of relationships, whether it's just an idea of where you want to go in your own life's journey. Right. Timing is the most important thing. I think also all the things that I was counting also help work or get you towards a sense of readiness because you the time could be right but if you're not ready then you know you're not aligned with whatever the gifts the universe wants to give you that's right that's right and, and when you deal with timing the one of the, the one of the ones that i look at the most is like amazon amazon is one of the biggest uh, examples that i like to use when it comes to timing because imagine this whole thing about uh, utilizing the internet and smartphones and everything like that. And we were back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Back in the 90s, human beings was not ready. Sort of like what you just said. If you're not ready. Then I won't. We were not ready. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. So, so even with that great idea of bringing in packages to the home, straight to the home, uh, all you got to do is just put it on your credit card and Put click, all click, your click. information in the internet and everything will come along smoothly. We were not ready for that. No, we, we were we not. Were, we wasn't even trying to put our name in the internet. No, we were not. So, no, we wasn't putting my name in the internet back in the day. We weren't putting any credit card information back. In the day. That's just so crazy. It was all about, even though that idea is great, the idea is 100% great. You sit back, you press a button, the next thing you know, something could, you know, whatever you purchase is at your door. But that wouldn't have worked in the nineties. But it's working now. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So was the idea was the idea bad itself? Was that a bad idea? No. No. It was excellent. Timing was all. 
many many oh. ideas have fell to the wayside because of timing like earlier um i spoke about yeah. the little what's it called PDA, I think. yes the pda the pda thing. <laughs> i can't believe we even had that i mean i know if i showed what is, <laughs> if i showed one of my sister's kids a pda and a beeper they would just be like what are uh, these things what are they for <laughs> <laughs> because a PDA was like a cross between like a small tablet and a phone and you could do your emails and respond to texts and calls. But like just the timing of it wasn't right. We were not like, you know, into the mindset of constantly working, working on the go, or even, you know, the, the mobility of laptops was not as, um, as normal as it is in our culture now. So to have, I mean, the phone, smartphone today, basically, is just an evolved PDA. So it's just That's interesting. True. Timing, my space, timing. A lot of yes, things. yeah, yes, that's another thing. Yeah, yeah. bond, was, it's time. Considered the modern Facebook. Yeah, basically, basically. And earlier we were talking about basically. the 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 re evolution of innovation. Innovation being nowadays yes. that it's something, and then somebody takes that something and makes it better. Like TikTok used to be musically, and now it's TikTok, and it's huge, huge. So I'm yeah. just like, yeah. people were That's not ready. So different about it then versus now. It's exactly so the same thing. Ready, the yeah. Timing. yeah. The thing is, I would I would love to encourage, continue to encourage people to realize that a lot of these motivation gurus and people that consider themselves gurus, <laughs> they're not giving you. The full picture. They're not. They're not giving you the full picture. Yeah, they're not. Because they'll tell a person, or you, all you got to do is just wake up in the early in the morning. You work harder than the next person. Mm -hmm. You're going to be guaranteed success. Yeah. You're going to be this millionaire. Okay. Um, but what if your idea is not at the right time? You can wake up 3 o'clock in the morning, work out of the 24 hours, you work 23 of them. And you have all the discipline in the world. If the people aren't ready for whatever so what you want to give, whatever the value, you're going to be just as broke as the person who went to sleep for 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> At least the one that, that slept for 22 hours is it's fresh and rested. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's yeah, so that's, true. That's the thing, this discipline, discipline was all structured, and now the person just sleeping, didn't know when they wanted to. <laughs> Yo, it's so <laughs> true. It's so true because there's so many situations in so many industries and workplaces where people are just there, like looking at a specific direction for their careers or position, and they're working and they're doing training, upskilling, educating themselves, and just damn near not sleeping. I mean, the culture now, because we're all, majority of us are working from home, we get emails at like 10 at night. When you wake up the next morning, you see an email from someone at 10 or 11, and you're just like, why aren't people doing the work-life balance or just resting? And then you realize that, oh, you know what? People have goals and you don't know what they want to do. But you work your, your butt off and you go to your manager's manager and you say, hey, I want a promotion or, hey, I want to move to that department. And they're just like, we don't think you're ready. <laughs> like, True. you could jump all the HR hoops and all the hoops on earth. But if the person who's supposed to open a door for you is not ready to do that for you, again, it's not in your control. It's about timing. It's not in your control. It's yeah. about timing. And it's the saddest part is, to, is, is how people fall into this belief that uh, this this is all in your control. It's um, not. Actually, a lot of success is not in people's control. Yeah. A lot of the times it's when you prepared and the opportunity is there and a little bit of luck comes yeah. together yeah. and then boom you're in this position yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. that's how a lot of these things work yeah you know, it doesn't work because you just work so hard oh. like if we if that was true then why is it that we have family and family members that work two jobs three jobs and they work hard yeah where's their success story you see what i'm saying so it's not just the working hard part it's it's more to it it's more nuanced and, and, and I'm sorry to let anybody know there isn't a five-step, ten-step plan that's going to get you to this place of success. Like, no. like, like you had said, sorry, like you had said earlier in our conversations um, when we spoke about this initially, you had said this isn't a one-size-fits-all. 
this is definitely not a because Jay did it like this to get his shirt so damn white. It's gonna work for me. <laughs> You gotta, you, you, you gotta send me whatever you use. Your shirt's so white, my eyes are crying. It's so white. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, it's so white. Anyway, um, you said it's not a one size fits all. And another example of timing and then hard work is not the do all and end all and be all. Is is lottery winners? I mean, people just yeah. scratch for the first time. 20 million. But what happens to those people? 99% of those people lose that money like that because they're not ready for that kind of money. Exactly. They're not ready exactly. for, they didn't even have goals for if I were to get 15 million now, what would I do? So again, timing. And, 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 the, and the thing though, and this is the part that I want to make this so it could be especially uh, motivating also because some people might look at that and say, well, if it's all about timing, maybe I don't have to worry about working hard. Oh, I thank you, Jay. Yes. Yes, I can so just chill. So that we put it, and so my boat will fade in. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this uh, example when you're dealing with, like, let's say sports, right? Right. Sports is one of my favorite things, and, and I like to use this analogy. So let's just use the NBA. You can have somebody that is very talented, and they're about six foot seven, six foot eight. And they have the talent and they might not work as hard. They work, but they don't work as hard because they have the supreme talent that they, God has given them. Mm -hmm. right? So there's this, this mode where they're doing all types of things and they don't get up four o'clock in the morning to do the different things, but they discipline enough right. to make it to the uh, a college level and sometimes make it to the professional level. Right. But then you have this other kid, right? Who, didn't have the God-given talent, but he's 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 mm -hmm. Might not be real tall, but he still plays the game of basketball and he learned all the nuances of what to do. Mm -hmm. But when he gets on the court, he's just not the greatest one out there. He's working hard, he's running hard, he's doing all the drills, and he knows what to do. Right. But he's just not as talented. So the guy that didn't work as hard might have made it to D1 and made it to... Uh, uh, the pro level, right? However, this other kid who worked extremely hard, who knows the game, yes, the thing that he could do, he just didn't make the, get a scholarship. He can pivot, and what that pivoting means, he can take that same amount of energy, and now instead of being because he doesn't have that talent to become a pro player or a D one player, he takes that right. talent to become like a coach, right? So he knows how to teach right. others how to become great be, be, with their own talent. Because so he has term, practiced it and it's in his body now because he has done the work of this is what consistency looks like. This is what discipline looks like. And this is what hard work looks like. And he can teach that to people who may have the skill but don't have the, the discipline to do the hard work. Because it's just not it's not just talent that wins the, the trophies. Right. Yeah. I have to read some of these because when I was trying oh, to, because when I was trying to figure find some of these because you know on YouTube we, we spoke about this that you'll find the the millionaire's mindset the billionaires wake up like this or the the morning routine of 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 successful people or you know um what was the other one mindset something you know millionaire mindset or whatever um and I only found one video one and I'm gonna put the link in the description description box um of a man speaking about timing and it, so motivational speakers be like uh, okay, they're like um if you want to be a beast you must train with the beasts listen like these things <laughs> <laughs> these Don't things, know I was doing at all huh? like i mean and then this other one says <laughs> self-confidence is a muscle it must be worked on a daily sure but is that all I need to win just self-confidence? I mean, come on. <laughs> wow. I know what you're saying. Oh my God. Okay. It's crazy. This other one says local minded people never understand global mind goals, global minded goals. I'm just like, Jay, what if I come from a poor family 
I had never seen an airplane. I don't even like have internet where I live. How am I going to think globally when my world begins and ends in in my in my space? I'm just and, like. And you know what's so funny about that? Who says you can't be successful locally? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you don't have to have exactly. A state exactly. To be successful locally? How I know that there was uh, there's plenty of people I know in South Africa. <laughs> that are doing extremely well and they are in a local space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not everybody <laughs> has to what's going on all locally. Exactly. Exactly. Not everybody has to blow up and change the world. You can change your world around you. And that is a bigger impact than trying to be a Oprah or a Madonna or a Elon Musk. Just do what you can that in your space. Zero, that is a zero point zero 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 one percent chance for you to end up being like Mark Zuckerberg and stuff like that, man. Come on now. Huh? If you're gonna only focus on those individuals, then you're never gonna have any success. Because come on, that's like you said, they changed the world. Yeah. You can change just a little bit of you first. Let's start there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's start let's start there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, we, we know. We, we, I don't want to even get into this. You know, we don't want to do the work, but, but people are trying. I, I've seen, <laughs> people are trying. People are trying to work on themselves, which is good. So that means if they can work on themselves, they can work on their spaces around them. Start off and just do a little bit here and, and continue to keep growing step by step by step. Mm -hmm. And one day you'll get to this realm of success. And let that be your success, yeah. not comparing it to other individuals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and not to say that I, I earlier when I say that you don't have to do things at a global scale. If your goal is to go global, go global. And and do all the things, the hard work, the discipline, the waking up at 4 a.m. If it works for you, but it doesn't have to be your formula. It can be however exactly. it is you need it to be if it works for you. So, yeah, man. Thanks for sharing this. I really you know wanted what? to talk about this. I'm I really wanted to talk about this. I'm glad that we did. I'm glad that we did. Yeah. I nearly said something about the shirt again, so I held myself back. <laughs> <laughs> as, long as, as long as the shirt matched my teeth. Oh, we do, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not worse than wearing a white shirt and the teeth. And the teeth is like, oh, shady and shit. Oh, wow. Oh, God.